What's up, Pisces? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing so well today, feeling really good. I received a message of Pisces Collective experiencing this death and rebirth right now. And I almost feel like this is someone's own doing. And when I was channeling this message before I got on, bear with me all, I have a Mercury in the 12th house. So yes, I intuitively receive these downloads, but it's hard for me to articulate these messages because they come in so fast. And if anyone knows about the 12th house, <laughs> they will understand. It's like a gift and a curse. So I'm discovering this path now to nurture my communication and my gift. Sorry. So back to the message. There is a death and rebirth. And I feel like this has to do with patterns. If you notice the people in the, the cycles of the moon, I feel like this has been months of leading up to this this moment and I'm he how many are here one two three four I was hearing seven one two three four five six seven eight nine probably nine months the full moon is coming she also has a mushroom in her hand so if someone is feeling the need or feeling the call to explore plant medicine um I never noticed that on this card until now microdosing it helps you um, tap into the spirit realm to receive messages that is hard to receive in the 3D. Um, so I just feel that there is a crossroads, um, a decision that has been made, and it's funny that there's three i'm like mind body spirit and then the snake is about transformation and the connection with the moon and the hidden subconscious when i was channeling the message on like i asked what is the pisces collective feeling right now in this moment the energy and I pictured this um, ethereal entity almost floating, floating through energy. And the colors were changing from blue to all these beautiful colors like um, pinks and yellows. And color to me represents energy. But ahead was yellow and red. Um, so it felt like there was a, a, an energetic force that was leading, leading you, um, with more action and drive. Um, I'm feeling some, some of you could be experiencing a more motivated push, um, and luck. I don't know why that just came to me. A motivated push and luck, like things just happening for you that felt stuck. The way you're processing information, the way you're interacting with people and how people are interacting with you, you're almost connecting. And so the energy of the entity that I was seeing being pulled into this, this spiritual realm, um, was like almost touching everyone's energy around them, but it was positive, it was light. And I think what I'm trying to say is you were being protected. Goddess Durga is about um, boundaries, the slayer of obstacles. There's this awakening of strength and resilience and power within the Pisces collective that I'm energetically channeling. And 
patterns, like slaying patterns too, like noticing your patterns, your instincts are way more heightened around this time. And I think it's because some of you have experienced some betrayal. And this could even be a realization of how sensitive you are and how sensitive your feelings and emotions are. And Oya, Goddess Oya is about change. There's definitely change that's happening right now. You see this beautiful like fuchsia, this is divinity. And this change is happening. And as I said, there was this force and almost like you were being, you were levitating into the direction of this source energy, this, I was hearing sun. The word sun came to me because it was orange and red and sun is about our, our vitality, our energy, our life force, intuition, psychic connection. Some of you also could have a 12th house sun placement and this is your there's like a lot of healing happening and i'm getting emotional a lot of healing happening with your confidence and no longer betraying yourself so there's this change that's happening is like you no longer seeing yourself as a victim and I'm not saying this is something that's subconscious. It's not something subconscious, but it was like something that was like passed down to you through your lineage. And I'm just getting like a vote. There were so many voids, so many voids. Oya has a lot of like portals in her. Um, but you are awakening through these emotions, through this realization, through this betrayal. She almost looks like a hawk. Hawk is someone that's very intuitive, that gets the messages, that's um, a conduit between the spiritual realm and the 3D. So you, I feel like somebody has been giving you messages, sending you messages in your consciousness and you've been, like I said, luck. There's just this, this block that has been lifted. This block has been lifted. Um, underneath the deck was the theme, which is this death and rebirth and someone just like doing it themselves. Um, or someone that's like the, I'm hearing the head of your spirit team. Someone that is like, you have more than one guy, but it's like the main guy that's it could be your ancestor that's doing this like you're ready you're ready you're being levitated into the light after that was feelings and emotions healing this is the transformation the snake is around her neck she has the fire in her hand she knows she is taking responsibility of her transformation through her spiritual path and your, your boundaries of like overcoming these obstacles, this fire. I'm also feeling like when I was seeing the red and the yellow that you needed that fire. You were at this crossroads, you needed that fire. Whatever was hidden has been revealed to you. Like a veil has been, uh, the veil has been lifted. You have a deep connection to the moon also, some of you. Deep connection, um, maybe even rituals around the moon. And I'm also seeing, like I said, plant medicine. Plant medicine around the moon. If you're open to that. Um, she's also holding a pomegranate. This is like I said, the luck that's coming in. Pleasure. Um, you experiencing pleasure and I almost feel like you're not wanting to be 
caught in relation caught up in relationships right now your your spiritual path is there's a lot of healing that needs to happen the change the change in your relationships and change in your relationships yeah it's um somebody taking responsibility centering this is like the lotus also like um if i keep putting the cards it makes it dark so my bad centering you could be listening to chanting music too um but i'm also hearing no no mud no lotus no mud no lotus there's a deep understanding of this path there's a deep understanding of death and rebirth there's a deep understanding of regeneration and that that process and when we keep betraying ourselves or we're experiencing betrayal by not having our boundaries up it's we're we're opening that wound all over again <laughs> y'all okay pisces have a connection to the feet She has her eyes, the eyes on her, open eyes on her. Wow, really? She has the eyes on her hands, in her hands, and her foot, and her third eye. What does that mean? Pisces have a connection to the feet. So it's, I just feel like there's, I don't know, I have to sit on that and like ask. beliefs the hawk represents again like i was saying the hawk and betrayal i said someone choosing their spiritual path some of you could be choosing a path to i'm hearing psychic and notice how she's focus like uh maybe some of you could be doing this ritual right now where you're um that's what i was doing i i they i scry into like a crystal and this i feel like she's scrying she's looking at something and she's receiving messages the awakening is this path is the spiritual path and your relationships and your connections now have to honor this and honor who you are. Honoring how powerful you are. Chosen. You are connected to divinity and that's the respect that you need to have. That you are having, that you are commanding. You knowing who you are, this belief and this higher energy. Um... It's going to awaken your your independence. I don't know if I can show that because of the price. But it's going to awaken your independence and focus. We do have the Sagittarius full moon. It's like adventure, um, exploration. Sagittarius is connected to Neptune. So like, I feel like there's something in the planets where Neptune is going to be trying this week. I'm not getting to astrology, but my point is... There's a focus. There's a focus now and a confidence in yourself. And look, she has the hawk on her shoulder. Being guided in the wilderness. Connecting to animals. Some of you could be, um, one of your clairs could be reading the energy and the messages from animals. Nature. Creativity, very creative, 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 creative. I'm seeing water being poured. I don't know why the water is being poured behind her. She's weaving a new, this new path. She's feeling so creative. This is someone that's like awakening to their creative gifts. This, look at the web being connected into the spiritual world and look at that illumination of the moon. 
there's a lot of creativity that's happening. This is also the colors, the colors that I was seeing. And Jade. Also dragonfly earrings. She has dragonfly earrings. Some of you could have dragonfly earrings or a connection to dragonflies. Complete surrender. I'm going to tap into the tarot. Tap into the tarot. I'm feeling so good about this message. I really do. I feel so in alignment with the, with the Pisces Collective now. Like getting that getting that energy out and saying it, your boundaries feel really good. Your boundaries are making you happy. <clears throat> Spirit, angels, ancestors, Sunday masters, what messages are coming in today for the Pisces Collective? For their highest good spirit what is coming in this energy this death and rebirth crossroads boundaries betrayal selfhood beliefs what messages are coming in for these collective spirit guides what messages are coming in it's funny that i have like so many different ways that i shuffle I have so many different ways that I write my handwriting. Um, what is this crossroads spirit? What is this crossroads? Wow. So notice I said the three dogs or the, the head with the three dogs, the dog with three heads. Three of Cups comes out. You're walking away. The number three is messages too. I feel like that's a guide. I have to keep going. Seven of Cups also came out. Um, this could be confusion. Confusion. Dreams, downloads. Clarify this Three of Cups. What is this Three of Cups? Three of Cups, Three of Cups. It's like choice, rejoicing. Three of Cups, mind, body, spirit. Also, I'm getting triple goddess, maiden, mother, crone. I think that's also all the. This could be guides. Maiden, mother, crone. Knight of Pentacles. This is something that has been slow. I have to put the cards down first and then show them because I lose the instant download that I get. And as I said, I'm learning how to stay connected in my reading so it's it's not scattered. Um, and then, <laughs> I'm explaining that. Um, Knight of Pentacles. This is something that's coming in really slow. Slow and steady. Or someone that was slow and steady. Slow. <clears throat> Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. There's something that there's a I don't know why I'm getting this like I don't know why the Ace of Cups it's like um, 
like an impression, like in an opening, like someone's having this impression on you. There's an impression that has been made on you. I think this is you actually choosing your spiritual path, not choosing this, not choosing this. The nights are not, it's like, it's fun, but it's not consistent. It's not, um, it's like in and out energy. And I just believe that the Ace of Cups is you choosing yourself. This could also have to do with, I don't, I'm third party, but I'm not trying to allow that to come into this message today because we do have boundaries. The message is about this, this death and rebirth, not about um, that energy, that energy. Spirit, <clears throat> what other messages are coming in? What other messages are coming in for this death and rebirth for the Pisces Collective? This death and rebirth for the Pisces Collective. What other messages are coming in that we need to know at this time? Nine of Pentacles. Choosing yourself. I'm almost hearing for the first time in a long time. For the first time in a long time. For the first time in a long time. Ten of Pentacles. Hierophant can't make this up for the first time in a long time um ravens black ravens could be significant to someone it's messages from the spirit realm you could have a connection to black ravens it could be your spirit animal um i, I remember i said luck the luck that's coming in, I think this is you being gifted like a spiritual inheritance in a way, just things coming in out of the blue, out of the blue. Blue is intuition. Your intuition is leading you to where to make money, where to fill that, that void, that focus, oh yeah, change. It's like the destruction that comes in and it's just like shaking shit up. Um, Knight of Pentacles popped out again. Cannot make this up. And the Four of Pentacles. I'm hearing a steady movement, a steady movement to rebuilding and restoring your foundation. The fours are about foundation. The four of pentacles could be holding on to tight security, but in this instance, I'm hearing like organically growing. The Empress is very abundant and flowy and natural. She just continuously is giving birth to ideas the stars represent um to me like divinity intuition just like all these creative downloads that you're receiving and maybe the message that i'm picking up is go slow go slow it's gonna happen go slow go slow go slow this change The world is completion, ending of cycles. It could be an online, online, a travel, a travel. What are the messages that are coming in for the Pisces Collective Spirit? What are the messages that are coming in? What other messages are coming in? What other messages are coming in to tie in this reading? What other messages? Hangman at the bottom of the deck. This is uh, Neptune. Neptune is uh, intuition, esoteric studies, opening and awakening of the third eye, choosing a spiritual path. This You can also have a connection to the 12th house, Pisces, Pisces 12th house. Um, when you're awakening to your spiritual gifts, you are in this, this spiritual, you're on your spiritual path. 
and you're being led and you're being guided to preserve your energy. But the Neptune, the Pisces hangman card is for me someone awakening or focusing on their third eye, their divination journey, um, knowing that they have these gifts and this is like, I'm going to focus on studying. I'm going to focus on my spiritual path and what spirit is wanting me to do. Where can I be of service? Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're not allowing yourself to feel trapped anymore. Um, it's like I'm also hearing blocking out the noise. She has this ring around her ears. Blocking out the noise. Six of Swords is leaving a situation, mm, not physically, mentally. Mentally leaving a situation. Taking your power back. I was, I was hearing that you have to. It's like you realize that you have to. You have to. Ten of Swords. I don't know if this was reverse or... Right side up, but it was on the floor. Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands came out. Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands. I'm hearing being, being led to discover the truth. Because of this betrayal, because of this pain, It's awakening. It's a, remember I told you I saw the red and the yellow. It's awakening. The Ace of Swords in a deeper, deeper meaning is clarity. But to get to that clarity, you have to go through an ego death. You have to go through a death and rebirth. You have to go through a process of acceptance and understanding pain leads to transformation the pain is leading to transformation and ace of swords can also be too many messages clarifying communicating the truth um something about speaking 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 nines are completion this is a wish a wish fulfillment also, I think it's a Pisces card too. I'm also hearing like support. You're so, you're going to be having support from your you are or you do. You have to. You have have you have to have your spiritual community. You have to if if you are in this like I'm going to have this change. You already have been inspired to have to be going through a death and rebirth. You are already feeling connected to spirit. And your spirit team. Um, that also could be a, a message to lean into them for clarity. Lean into them for support. Through this process of trying to heal. And balance out. Balance out the pain. Because remember what I said. Pain is leading to the truth. It's leading, leading to your happiness. Leading to your happiness. You're okay with the pain. You like alchemizing that pain into truth and then almost like sharing it. Sharing this this path, this truth, your experience is going to help you and it's gonna make you feel whole. That is all I have for you, Pisces Collective. I'm so happy I got this message out and had a little good cry. Um, now I'm about to go to the studio and work and make some art. Bye.